and like we all just decided yeah, to just, just run. We just, you know, go away. And my baby boy, he's he's gone now from gun violence. I know it's not gonna be like at some point everything's okay. It just won't ever be that way. It's tough to forget that night, and as Ybor City prepares for another Halloween, the memories from one year ago still very raw for many in the community tonight. Nearly one year ago, two families were bound by tragedy after shots rang out during a Halloween bar crawl there. Bullets sent people running for their lives. Two people died, 16 others were injured in one of the worst moments in Tampa's history. Good evening, I'm Paolo Lucero. Thank you for joining us for News Channel 8 on the CW Tampa Bay. Well, this year there are new precautions in place as the shooting is top of mind for officers and those heading out this weekend. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joins us now live in Ybor City. And Nicole, you were one of the first ones on the scene that morning. Are things looking any different out there today? Paula, definitely something I will never forget and still the hardest scene I've ever been to in my career thus far as a journalist. But I will say it's sort of a mixed bag. There are some people who have not set foot here on 7th Avenue since the shooting. Others saying that seeing the police out here on every corner and even cameras just like that one across the street, seeing more of those has given them a little more peace of mind. But one thing I think everyone can agree on is no one wants to see something like that happen ever again. Someone was like, they just opened fire at everybody, and we're like, what is going on? In the heart of Ebor's nightlife scene in the early morning hours of October 29th, <laughs> a night full of fake horror quickly turned into real terror. It's just really odd to see the crowd become kind of panicked and not sure where a safe place was to go. <laughs> Tampa police say 20 year old Harrison Boone Stoppel and 14 year old Elijah Wilson were shot and killed and 16 others were caught in the crossfire. The gunshots were a little bit loud to, to where we could hear it down here. So we had patrons in our business taking cover as well. Two of the suspects charged in connection to the mass shooting were just in court this week. Tyrell Phillips is facing murder charges accused of shooting and killing Wilson. Dwayne Tillman is accused of returning fire and shooting into the crowd of people as Phillips ran away. 7th and Grove General Manager Tatiana Brown says immediately everything was different. It was ghost town in Ybor City the next day, the next week, two weeks later, a month later. Um, I don't think that we actually started picking back up until like two or three months later. And as we enter into yet another Halloween weekend in Ybor City, Tampa police say a lot has changed, like more security cameras, off-duty patrols, and medics on bikes to get to people. Something Brown says has made a difference. I feel safer coming to work, and I, I'm, I'm sure the patients actually feel safer to walk up and down Ybor City as well. Several of the bars here on 7th Avenue will be hosting Halloween bar crawls this weekend. Tuesday is the official one year later of the shooting. Tampa police plan to hold a candlelit vigil here on 7th Avenue to honor the lives lost, something that they hope will help them stay together. For now, live in Ybor City, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.